The Philadelphia 76ers are about to unleash Tyrese Maxey. In this video, I want to go over how Philly moving off James Harden and doubling down on Maxey's game is going to make their team much better. So the first thing Tyrese obviously brings to the 76ers is pace. Last year with James Harden running the show, Philly ranked 23rd across the NBA in transition points per game. But after just three games of Maxey leading the offense this year, Philly's now averaging the third most transition points per game across the league. Now for this year, that is a pretty small sample size, but I think it's still pretty safe to say that Maxi as a lead guard will definitely improve Philly's overall pace. Now with the ball, I think we all know that Ty Reese is one of the fastest players in the open court. This play here shows it perfectly, where Giannis gets the ball poked away, and Maxi collects it right at the other team's foul line. And from this spot, notice how this defender tries to rotate his hips to sprint back. But watch how quickly Maxi closes the distance between himself and the defense. And before this defender can even enter the paint, Maxi's already initiating contact and getting up into a finish. Now when Maxi picks up a head of steam like this, it almost always puts the defense on their heels, which gets them off balance and gives Tyrese the leverage to play physical and create scoring angles. On this play, you'll again see him pick up a head of steam. And notice how this defender starts backpedaling then hunches forward in an attempt to hold his ground. From this spot, he's in no position to effectively contain the ball, and all Maxi needs from here is a simple overcross and bump to completely move this defender off his spot. And when handling the ball, Maxi is also much more than just a straight line driver. Watch him here switch into that top gear, then right in stride plant off his right foot, to then wrap the ball behind. And from this spot, notice how this defender is stumbling forward to cut off Maxi's driving angle. So in response, Tyrese is going to bring his right foot around to separate off it and create plenty of space for his pull up. So because Maxi is such a lethal threat with the ball in transition, he commands a lot of attention from the defense, which then opens up windows for him to play make. It's a PJ Tucker. I love this play here, where Maxi makes a simple play early, which leads to a good open three for Philly. Look at this play, you'll again see Maxi pushing the pace, and that forces Brooke Lopez to stay in the paint, but that also makes it tougher for Milwaukee to get matched up, which then leads to a wide open 3 for Joel Embiid. Now what I think really makes Maxi special, is that he can be just as dangerous in transition off the ball, being able to fill lanes, and be a really effective shooter off the catch. You'll see Philly here playing in semi-transition. And notice how the Bucks have a slight miscommunication with matchups, which automatically leads to a walk in 3 for Maxi. So let's move on and look at Maxi's game in the half court. And this is where I think Maxi's outside shooting plays a big factor, specifically his 3 point shooting off the dribble. So far this year, Maxi's percentages on pull up 3's are slightly down, but last year he did shoot a pretty impressive 37% on all his pull up 3's which was higher than both Devin Booker and Damian Lillard. Shakes it, three-pointer flies. Got it, Tyrese Maxey. So Tyrese's ability to punish teams who give him too much space forces defenses to come up and give him more aggressive coverages, which in return opens up Maxey's downhill driving. Take this play for example. Notice how Dennis Shooter gets hung up on the screen, and that gives Maxey all the space to rise up for a three. Now because of the outside shooting threat, the Raptors now want to fight over this screen, which now gives Maxi the leverage to attack downhill. You'll see the same effect on this play. Watch how Cameron Payne tries to fight over this screen, and notice how he's extended 40 feet from the basket. And from this spot, it's pretty much impossible to both fight through the pick, and stay in front of Maxi as he comes off. Now on this play, watch how the Raptors come up, and try to meet Maxi at half court. But because they extend their defense 45 feet from the basket, they leave all this open space exposed. And once Maxi splits this blitz, he now has a 3 on 2 advantage, which leads to an easy layup at the rim. So Maxi's ability to both shoot off the dribble and put the ball down to attack downhill makes him really hard to guard in open space. And because the defense has to come up and pressure him, it allows Maxi to keep his game off the dribble pretty simple. Just playing with pace and using that speed to get easy blowbys. Check out this play. You'll see this defender up pressuring Maxi, and watch how Tyrese is going to pound the ball and bring his right foot forward. 
Then watch how he floats and brings that right foot back to push off it and explode downhill. And then just like that he gets himself in front of the defense to then step across the paint and finish. Now because Tyrese is so effective playing with open space, it allows Philly to run some pretty simple and straightforward actions. Like here, watch our shooter is up pressuring the ball, and Maxi and Kelly Oubre are just going to exchange. And this gets Dennis completely out of position, with his hips squared up with the sideline. And from this spot, Maxi is going to attack his top foot, by stepping across towards the paint. And this causes his shooter to open up, which now gives Maxi a window to rise up into a floater. Now on this play, Patrick Beverly is going to initiate the action, and Philly is going to have him get into a dribble handoff with Maxi. And again, notice how much space Philly gives Tyrese to work with. And from this spot defensively, it's almost impossible not to give up a 3 or a downhill drive. Now the big elephant in the room with Maxi as a lead guard is going to be his playmaking. And while I wouldn't say Tyrese is a top tier passer across the league, I still think he's a good enough playmaker in spots to make the right reads and keep the defense honest. And so far this year, him and Embiid have been able to run a pretty effective two-man game. And because Maxi is such a dynamic scorer from multiple levels, he's able to pretty effectively attract a good amount of gravity off these screens, which then gives Joel a ton of space as the roll or pop man. And of course, it also helps that Joel Embiid is one of the NBA's best scorers. So even if Maxi gives a pass that doesn't lead to a direct shot, it's still a good enough advantage that Embiid can attack. Like here, notice when Maxi comes off the screen, how he pulls both Giannis and Lopez across the paint. And this gives Joel Embiid all this open space to work with. And when he catches the ball, he already has an advantage against Giannis. And he's able to attack and get into this turnaround jumper. One simple play Philly has been spamming all year is this Embiid and Maxi handoff on the wing, with the ball side corner empty. And this is just really difficult to guard. First, because the big guarding Embiid obviously can't hedge up, because that would then lead to an easy dump off pass. But also, if the man guarding Maxi tries to fight over, that would give Tyrese all this open space to attack into. But then if he goes under, it's going to be a three ball in your eye. Raptors, Maxi. 34. And this play became such a problem for Toronto that they sent Scotty Barnes to come in and blow up the action, but he still arrives too late, and it leads to another Maxi 3. Now another reason why I think Maxi is going to be a big upgrade as a lead guard is that he can be just as effective playing off the ball. Last year, Tyree shot a ridiculous 47% on all his catch and shoot 3s, which leads to about 1.4 points per shot. And to put that in perspective, the Sacramento Kings last year had the number one ranked offense, and they scored just under 1.2 points per possession. So obviously, Tyrese Maxey getting catch and shoot threes leads to efficient offense, and that makes him a great player to have alongside Joel Embiid, being able to spot up and give him space to work in isolation and post ups, while being able to punish teams who overcommit to the ball. No look to Tyrese Maxey, who pays it off. And then on top of that, Maxi also has the ability to slash and attack closeouts right off the catch. 